Yeah, he it, nor I can tell you the yeah, tale. Taken two and three are shit. <laughs> That's it. Well, never watch them. The first one's kind of. First one's good. First one's all right. It's kind of cheesy though. It's like good. you're seeing people getting shot movie. and stabbed. I hate seeing people getting shot and stabbed now when there's zero blood. Yeah, it's it it's really PG thirteen. Yeah, so they cut away from everything. But then the entire time I'm thinking about, okay, so they took out all the blood so they could just sell ultra violence to fucking teenagers. Yeah, well that's, that's just yeah, how that's it, the is. Way it is. They cut yeah. away and that's yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's weird because you know I mean, I James think. Bond has been doing it for fucking years now, man. Yeah. You ever do you remember Goldeneye? Oh, yeah. I think he shot, like, in one scene, he shot, like, 12 Russian soldiers. Like, they run down yeah, the hallway the and he mows them down. Yeah. It's good, though. It's a good movie. I like that uh, one a lot. I'm going to take us a little off track real quick. <laughs> Just for any gamers out there, if you remember that scene from GoldenEye, surely you remember that scene from the game. I forget the name of the level. If you ever beat it in under 1 minute and 13 seconds, good job. I tried it for, like, three hours one day. Couldn't do it. Didn't have wow. the patience. You gotta see on N64's Goldeneye. You gotta uh, unlock the cheat codes to, I guess, complete the game. Yeah, the paintball only and slaps only and all that. That one is invisible. Yeah, I uh, I love that game when I was a kid, but uh, it's not great. I still have it's kind of hard no. to control. Well, I mean the. the the controller for N64 was shit. I mean, the it's controller, garbage. it's perfect for, like, Mario. It's only got that one analog stick in the middle. It's just, yeah. ugh, They kind of handcuffed them s themselves there. Yeah, well, they've always tried to revolutionize controllers and all that. And, you know, they, they kind of perfected it with the GameCube. GameCube controller's yeah. pretty solid. You know, you don't really... You know, I mean, they they still have, you know... Uh, they use them in tournaments and stuff for... Yeah, uh, fighting games, yeah. yeah. To, uh, Evo. Yeah. I watched some weird documentary today about... Darksidey Phil, I think its name is. Darksidey Phil. He is some YouTuber or something. Hmm. And anyways, he went to Evo. Yeah, he placed fourth, but it was it because it was a. It's pretty fucking good. Those guys are serious. Yeah, but it was a game that nobody else played because oh. like everyone's like, okay, it's that game that right. is unfair or unbalanced or some gay shit. <laughs> a lot of those, a lot of those games have balance issues. I mean, I've never really been too good at them. No, I'm, I'm shitty at Street doing. Fighter. I always tried to do the cheapest move possible and just jam it. <laughs> I never, yeah, I never, <laughs> honestly, I never played at Street yeah. Fighter or Mortal Kombat after, like, I was a little kid and playing with my friends on, like, oh, Super man. Nintendo. Yeah. Nice. I never really got into fighting games. Yeah. High school, I played Street Fighter quite a bit. What but for? Uh, Street Fighter 4 was big in high okay. school. That one came out. That would have been PlayStation uh, 2 or 3. Uh, three, yeah. Okay. Yeah, PlayStation 3, Street Fighter 4 came out. That was huge. It sold fucking... That, that brought Street Fighter back. It was fucking dead. Yeah. For years and years. Well, was uh, Street Fighter 3 bad or something? Yeah, and they, they did, like, so many different versions, you know, which they Well, that's done. what they did yeah, for... Capcom is yeah. a fucking terrible company. Do you know, know what, Tom... Um, do you know what Capcom makes? Yeah, Mega Man, man. Yes. <laughs> Mega Man, Resident I Evil. I love Mega Man X. I was playing Mega Man yeah. X3 this afternoon. I'm so pissed. I beat the entire first... Uh, fuck I beat the whole bosses. I forgot you can't beat Vile after you beat the last boss. Oh. I'm pissed. Yeah, I, uh, I suck at Mega Man. I, I love the platforming elements in Mega Man, and that's why I like Shovel Knight so much. Because yeah. they took all those great platform ideas that Mega Man had. Isn't Shovel Knight supposed to be a lot like... um? the DuckTales game. It's way better than DuckTales ever was. Yeah. yeah. I never played that. But Shovel Knight is fucking amazing. Yeah. It's so good. It's one of the best games. It's... Do you know what, you just say it, do you know what Shovel Knight is? It's a game. <laughs> do you know what we could do with a game? Play it at night. Play it at night, yeah. Um, we, uh, we took a pretty wide, <laughs> yeah. wide berth there. Yeah, that's, that's a good one to edit out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, guys. You get to hear all of this. Oh, this will, this is gonna fill your mind with dreams and and sweet nothings of somethings in your ear. I think I messed something up yeah. there. So I obviously enjoyed it a lot more than you. Yeah. I think that's what yeah. we're getting from it. Which I'm surprised. I, I thought you were kind of enjoying it. No, I, I it was good. Yeah. I just. It started out, and I was like, oh, it's going to be a super dark comedy. Yeah, yeah, that's refreshing. I haven't seen anything like that in a while. Mm -hmm. I've been seeing a lot of commercials also on YouTube for Heathers. Well, I mean, 
Listen, the the fucking trailers before the movie, that, holy shit, that that looked fucking terrible. So, I mean, that that really raises this movie up for me a lot, because the trailers before yeah. are just, like, everything that's wrong with comedy. There was this uh, movie the John Cena one where he, um, he ingests, he ingests oh, alcohol into his rectum yeah. via his anus. Yeah, nice beer enema. <laughs> and in the preview, he says, yeah. asshole. I'm, I thought you couldn't swear in previews. That's why it says preview approved for all Yeah, audiences. I guess maybe some swear words now. Maybe because this was rated with. R. They yeah. figure you got to be 17 to get in anyways. Yeah, and that Amy Schumer. Oh, fuck. That I like the brutal. concept. It reminds me of like a, a Woody Allen movie or something. Just the it, concept. It feels like a movie that's already been made before. Shallow just... Hell? Yeah. But the reverse. To some extent, yeah. I just, I can't stand Amy Schumer. I think her humor fucking sucks. I, She's just like, I I'm a slut. Watched, Isn't I, that funny? Nah. You know, it's just, it's I've fucking I've seen her show enough. a couple times. Her show is bad. I've never watched one of her sets, though. I may yeah. have to do that. I mean, I've heard her show is really funny inside Amy Schumer. Nah. I, I've never I seen it. I can't that. remember a single bit. You know, I know she's given, you know, David Tell some work. She's like, I love fucking David Tell, yeah, man. He's I really he's good. I used to love his show Insomniac. Yeah. He, uh, she's given him work. You know, she's, I guess, taken him out on tour a couple times. And he was in Trainwreck. He was the best part of Trainwreck. What, um, LeBron James can't act? Actually, LeBron, LeBron James. LeBron Brames. <laughs> I love that dude. <laughs> Yeah, he wasn't that he wasn't that bad in train wreck, but that movie is movies that are just shot terribly. And shocking for Judd Apatow, because usually he hires good DPs for his movies. But that movie fucking looked awful. I don't like the uh who was the name of the dude co star? For this movie or train wreck? Train wreck. He uh does voiceover uh, work Will for Forte, South Park. I think it was. You sure it's Will Forte is his name? It's either Bill Hader or Will Forte. Bill Hader. It was Bill Hader, yeah. Bill Hader. Bill Hader. Yeah. He, I don't really think he's that funny. He could do impressions he, pretty well. He's okay. I mean, I've never been like a massive fan of him. I don't know. I'm trying to think. No, he wasn't in MacGruber. That was that was Will Forte. Why do you have this Will Forte? <laughs> we brought him up last time. Right? He got me in the head. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> he got he got me in his head. Well, we were talking about Pineapple Express, and he was in Pineapple Express. He was in the beginning of it. He was? Yeah, the flashback scene in black and white when they're in the Oh, bunker. yeah, 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 yeah. He's like doing this like Nazi uh, impression. There was another preview <laughs> for um, a gay movie, yeah, and it really, Simon. it really <laughs> reminded me of. Yeah, it looked bad, but yeah, it, looked I, horrible. it reminded me of that episode of South Park where, where Eric, where for some reason, Kenny, not Kenny, Kyle is trying to hook up with this girl at school, but she's black, and Carbon believes that only races should get together. Like, black should be with blacks, white should be with whites. <laughs> so he sets up this huge cabal to set up Token with a new black girl. And in order to do that, he has to um, convince her that Kyle is gay. So when Kyle takes her to a Nuggets game, Cartman goes over the uh, Megatron, whatever they call it now. Kyle, I just want to say it's okay. We can finally come out of the closet together, baby. And just makes a big, huge thing. I was... I don't think it. That must have been one of the later seasons, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You don't want. You don't like the later seasons. I I haven't kept up with it at all. I just I I, I would always have Hulu or time. Netflix. It was on Netflix for a while, and I would just you know you just binge watch, man. Like yeah. fuck, it's just late. I got the day off. I don't got to do nothing. I might as well just watch South Park. Yeah, I wish all the South Park seasons were on Netflix. It was so dope. Them. Yeah. They must be like you say on Hulu. I don't have Hulu. See, Hulu's good. Well, for TV Disney owns show. It, so I mean, they're gonna keep putting shit out. If you that. are thinking about Hulu, hey Hulu, free plug. <laughs> right. I would uh, advise you to spend the extra two bucks to not have commercials. Right, it's not yeah. a crazy amount. It's yeah. definitely more than like YouTube has, and it definitely interrupts the show. Well, the nice thing about YouTube is at the beginning of the video, and then that's it. Well, they have, they got some in the middle. You, you never get interrupted. Why? What are you, a red man? No, I have uh ad blocker or something. No, I, I see him at the beginning of the video. I, I watch it through the app on my PS4, so I don't. Oh, okay. They probably okay. change things a little. It because it's probably not really YouTube's app. It's like their app. through the browser, yeah. but actually through an app. Yeah. Yeah. That's so. what uh, Firestick was doing. They had me nervous. They said uh, 
Yeah, they had like a dispute with Amazon or something like that. My yeah, mom was telling they me took YouTube off stuff. my Fire Stick, but you can just get it through the browser. Yeah, they put up a Firefox thing yeah. and you just go right through and it. And they made yeah. a bootleg one that they actually advertise. Yeah, that's Which such, I feel that's like would be bullshit. illegal. Like, I don't, nah. like, how is that even a thing that YouTube's like, oh, fuck you, we're not putting you on Fire Well, it's, Stick. it's their app. Well, here's the thing. I've always Weird. noticed this for years. I don't know if we've talked about this before, but I've noticed this for years. If you search shopping on Google, Amazon's prices isn't on there. Every just about every other price yeah, is on there. Yeah. Amazon's has like never been. Hmm. Are you always signed into Amazon and Google when you go on Google? Because I I don't do that. Um, sometimes. Uh, um, that's when they have all the ad choices pop up and stuff. Turn off the uh, microphone on your phones. Like, give take away all the permissions for your apps. <laughs> You'll stop seeing all those weird ads that are, like, yeah. oddly specific to things you've talked about. It's it's and for searched, real. Yeah. It's real. The no, microphone one. The search one I get. You've been searching for it. All right. But the microphone one? Yeah, we're that's fucked up, scary. man. Yeah, we're getting uh. Skynet territory. <laughs> he uh, works... The guy from the movie, the dumb one, who, uh... He works for Cyberdyne Systems at one point. It remind me of Fletch. A lot of those kind of jokes. The reference. It's funny. Reference it's funny jokes. you bring up uh, Fletch and Chevy Chase because I was just looking up a whole bunch of Chevy Chase stuff today. I. Uh, He's really kind of hit or miss. Yeah, I've seen a lot, a lot of, of good stuff. Work. I've seen a lot of bad stuff. You know, I mean, he was really funny on Community. Funny Farm is good. If I you've never seen, seen it, in it. Years. it's very. It's been a long time. I saw it a long time ago, but I remember thinking, why haven't I heard of this? It can't be funny. And then well, I was laughing the whole time. I think time. everyone's joke with Chevy Chase is he was funny when he was coked out of his mind. Yeah. <laughs> See, I always thought that he, because he got all coked up, he fucking fried his brains or something, got burned out. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, I mean, he was, he was funny on Community, but that, that's the burned out phase. I never watched Community. Yeah, it's, I've seen a few episodes. Obviously, it used to be all over the place, but yeah, I never. The, the really, early seasons are really funny, and then you know, but everyone feels like Joe, Joe McHale. Every asshole. time I see him, I think of the fucking talk soup or whatever they call yeah, it. I loved talk soup. I used to funny. watch it a lot too. Yeah, now I guess he's gonna do that show again, kind of on Netflix, I guess. No, oh, all right. Yeah. Which, yeah. Netflix is just digging the fucking. It's even worse than Hollywood. Yeah. Just throwbacks, Fuller House. That I saw something. I'm well, not going to be able to remember it. Right? Nah. A lot of people love that Fuller fucking house show. Why the thing. fuck do people just want to? We're in the nostalgia. Sit, just man. sit in the it's mud the that they've already fucking walked through, man. Like, yeah. I, well, I mean, they rebooted Will and Grace on that. <laughs> was there a? Uh, uh, they're remake. They're doing a reboot of Ocean's Eleven, but with women. Yeah, I don't Ocean's care that Eight. it's with women. I just think that it's fucking stupid. Make it its own thing. Why you got to tie it to Ocean's Eleven? Yeah, but I know what that is. Who I know was, what that is. Who was in that we movie? Were. Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. Bullock uh, Mindy Kaling from the Mindy Project. Nah. That's on Hulu. Um, She's from The Office. Sarah Paul as well. Sarah Paulson from uh, American Horror, Horror Story. Story. Um, uh, Helena Bonham Carter from all the Tim Burton movies. For <laughs> anybody wife. out there, her sexiest movie, in my opinion. Um, Helen and Bonham Carter? Yeah, Fight Club. I don't know why. She really did it for me. That sex scene was fake, too. It was all CG. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> I mean, come on. It's the 90s. It's not like, they can, it's not like they're doing Peter Rabbit stuff <laughs> right. in that, man. <laughs> yeah, that... Let me ask you, since I just thought of it and we're doing a sort of long take sort of thing, what would you do to stop mass shootings? And stop. because I want to oh, really wow. take... We're, I really want to sabotage this. Uh, it's, it's, it's funny cause I, they were just talking about this on the news uh, yeah. with Trump saying that he wants to give, uh, school teachers guns, which is fucking stupid. Uh, yeah. but, uh, you know, I mean, when I was in high school, we had one police officer yeah, I had at, least, at the beginning of I the had day two and cops. at the end of the day. I had two cops the whole day. I and, think, you know, I went to a good school in the suburbs, but yeah. I, I generally think now we've reached a point where just have one cop in every school. Yeah. Um, no matter, you know, well, elementary, apparently there was, help. there was either an armed security guard or an armed cop there, yeah. but he just like never responded or something, yeah. I guess. I mean, I, I, I think maybe he, just don't hire pussies. Yeah. The whole security guard thing. How I, do you I just screen for that. pussies? 
How do you? Is there a yeah, psychological yeah. test for pussiness? I mean, you, you don't. You don't know if these guys are gonna freeze, but yeah. you know, you hopefully that. I, I think. I just think there should be one cop in every school. I think that yeah. would. That would help a lot of things. And I know a lot of parents, you know, they don't want to see metal detectors. They don't want to... I went to a school... They don't want a cop that's there, but... I went to a school where there was metal detectors probably at least a third of the year. Yeah. And there was at least a cop there, at least two different cops I've seen there every day, just about. One lady, I can't remember her name, and one dude. Hmm. Um... That's, that's I saw a lot of fights. I went to a city school, yeah. just so you guys know. A lot of fights. A lot of, um, you know, lot mass lot rapings <laughs> and stuff. Oh, we had a lot of um, satanic rituals. <laughs> Many people were disemboweled and sacrificed. ritualistically. It um, <laughs> really scarred me. Why do you think I ended up making these jerk-off YouTube vlog <laughs> videos that are just a still image and me talking? <laughs> To fucking Jasper Lamar Crab, the guy from Chinatown who fucking was dead and they just used his name mm. to buy up real estate. What were we just talking about? <laughs> oh boy, jeez. Yeah, you, you, what, what is your solution? <laughs> I um, my solution, just have a cop in every school. Yeah. Just one. Well, I mean, I'm not take away people's guns, um... That, well, that that's not going to do anything. It's infeasible. People there's, will kill with anything, yeah. dude. They'll take in a China, pencil, there's people stab people that, in the yeah, neck, man. They love to show the um, mass stabbing article. I, yeah. Is it one? I bet it's just well, one that's guy. The thing. But, a guy could just have a fucking yeah. knife and walk into a crowd and just start shanking. But the people. whole thing is like logically, that's infeasible. Do you know that there are more guns than there are people in this country? No, that doesn't surprise me. I mean, I so like you can't Columbia. get rid of them. Bull, don't ever, <laughs> don't ever fucking listen to a word that fucking cop, fat fucking cocksucker <laughs> piece of shit says. Not Trust a fan me. Of Michael Moore. Allegedly, <laughs> we're just speculating based on evidence yeah, he's, he's, from documentaries he's a hack fraud. that he just lies about stuff yeah. and uh, manipulates manipulates the truth. I mean. I, I do think Bowling from Columbine is not really biased. I, I do think that's a pretty good doc, but that's the only thing I think Michael Moore's done. That's... What about him making, like, f staging and fabricating? I can't think of oh, specifics sure. except for yeah. one thing right now from that movie, but he definitely... There's, there's a scene where he, he's in Canada, yeah. and he walks up to a house and he just opens the door because people don't lock doors in Canada. You know that was fake? It, I don't know if it was fake. I know what scene Supposedly, was fake. The gun, where he gets a gun from a bank. Oh. He totally called ahead and set it up. Like I, really? I watched yeah, this whole yeah, documentary. This woman was just, um, I don't know if she'd been harassing him before or not, but her and her film crew were just following his tours around, trying to get an interview with him. He never gave one, but the entire time they're just giving evidence of each one of his movies where he's just flat out lying, flat out making stuff up, flat yeah. out just make, manipulating the truth, yeah. allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. Yeah, I know there was some controversy with a movie he did on healthcare called Sicko. I never saw it. I remember when it came I, out. I didn't see it. One of my teachers, of since we were talking about high school, one of my teachers said you'd get extra credit if you saw that. So How fucked up is that? A public school is trying to make me a liberal fucktard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, there you go, you know. What movies of his? See bowling and I saw uh, bowling for Columbine and Fahrenheit. Me too. Which is very biased for yeah. sure. Um, I saw it when I was like twelve in the theater. My sister, oh, she the was a one. she was yeah. a bleeding heart herself. She yeah. she took me to it. She was like crying at a part of it, which you know it's very emotional. It, he's trying yeah. to he's there's trying scene, to get you to feel away. Yeah, uh -huh. there, there's a scene where he has like troops and they're going up to some some senate guy and, and it's it's pretty emotional there's well yeah but, but like he's, he's trying to play with your emotions you know but I, I that hate movie that and style, billing though. from columbine made a lot of money yeah and none of his other docs have made any money yeah so he had a period where you know well he, was he in made the he actually made his own film feature film wag the dog you ever oh, heard really? of it robert de niro and dustin hoffman yeah you ever see it no i, didn't. I never he saw it. it yeah he wrote wow, and directed it. I did not it. know that. It's supposed to be awful. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've heard of that movie, just never saw it. I, I remember was... seeing previews when I was a kid. Yeah, when I was a kid, I would see it at the library on VHS. I just never... You know, the library would it. always, um, especially for VHSs, I uh, used to go a while and get DVDs and Blu-rays from local libraries. Same with them. 
it's always the same same oh, blu-rays and dvds <laughs> week after week I'll month after month shit. yeah and maybe once or twice to find something good yeah yeah <laughs> it's usually just renting stuff i've already seen that i know is good yeah give the old rewatch i want some went to the central one like the main one downtown i really wanted to see i haven't been there it's it's like really big too. It's really Huge. big. Yeah, like there was like multiple levels across. and stuff. Eh. Yeah, I got. I was looking for Del Toro movie. Uh, Chronos. Nah. Mimic? Pan's Labyrinth, a Spanish either Pan's Labyrinth or Devil's Backbone. Yeah. Criterion. Yeah. Because a lot of the libraries have Criterions because. No, the one they um they consider it you know like it's important like the library the one Congress on the west side has like an entire section of dvds you should yeah. check it out sometime but i i was looking for it they said it was there i went there so i go to the main section look 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 nowhere to be found i look go to the foreign section look look nowhere to be found i ask the librarian hey do you guys got pan's labyrinth or the devil's backbone yeah it's upstairs in the other foreign section so I go up there, look, 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 don't have it. You can reserve movies, and they'll, like, send it to your local library. So right. I do that. Turns out my local library is the one that's way out of nowhere, because that's the one where I got my card. <laughs> you didn't just change on your, a whim. Library, your library location? No, I just, yeah, because I didn't, I wasn't right. thinking about that. I thought it'd be the one that I... So did they call you? Yeah, they're like, hey, we got it, it's at our library. So I go to the one that's way out of the way, mm -hmm. that, um... I signed up for like a couple months ago. All right. Not there. Oh, it must be back at Central. Go to Central. Well, there I'm like, hey, can I change it to the one that's close to my house? My home library. Yeah, that's they do that. Go to Central. It's not here. It must be uh must be in transit or they don't they lost it there. Go back to the Jeez. one way out of the way. Okay. Oh, since you put in for the change a couple weeks ago, see I forgot I had done <laughs> put in for the change at my home station they sent two weeks back. ago. <laughs> They said it was at the home station that I wanted, the home library uh -huh. I wanted. wasn't there. Somebody <laughs> stole it, and they just and <laughs> and just somehow they it. just they just kept saying that they were transferring it. Wow, there was a like, clusterfuck. <laughs> just at some point, somebody would say, "I didn't transfer this." You know, you figure to the yeah. fucking public libraries. Yeah. Most librarians I've met, men and women. This isn't a Remember. gender thing. Yeah. Both kind of dicks, kind of jerks. Yeah. I'd say really? at least 50-50 dick to... Yeah. Hmm. But it's rough. It's rough yeah, when you libraries. need movies from the library. <laughs> I like saying it like that, library. Library. I sound like uh, Atticus Finch right now. Oh, yeah. Good old Kill Mockingbird. Solid film. I actually only read half of that book. and then We I had just, to in school. Yeah, I just got the movie and then watched it. And the movie is like a complete faithful yeah. adaptation, so... Yeah, the book is torture. Torture? You didn't like the uh, book? I think it's fucking torture. I can't it's get too into... too long. It's too fucking long. Man. Seriously? I only remember it being like a 200 pages, 300 oh, pages, no something way. like that. Nah, longer? Yeah, it's gotta be long. It's I can't... Be I mean, I've read it in fucking high school, so... I, uh, I you mean, know, I'll take your word for it. I, I like novellas. You know, 200 pages are awesome. I really like uh, The Old Man and the Sea. I read it once, Love though, that so that goes to show you how it's much very, I like very reading. Very powerful book. A lot of imagery. Yeah. Um, Ernest Hemingway. He, he had a short story that was really fucking good. It was like the short, happy, tragic life of Francis Macabre. And it's set in like Africa. It's a really, really good short story. Is it super depressing? Yeah, it's about a guy whose wife is cheating on him well, and like, goes on a safari. Just think of the name, man. Yeah. As soon as you hear the name, oh, okay. Yeah, he, I mean, well, I mean, he always wrote tragedies. He was like a vicious alcoholic. Yeah. I remember why. He also uh, loved fishing. In, in Cuba. And he loved old man. <laughs> he loved old man? Oh, man. Not that there's anything Joking. wrong with that, but, you know. In the sea. Yeah. See, I'm I'm always, during these, I'm usually, my Trunks. comedic timing is off, man. I just, I don't know what's up. I'm a, I'm a wild and free spirit. You guys understand? Um, Dunya. I don't. You're talking like uh, the I dude. Don't, yeah. I don't it? Son. Nah, you made me think of Doctor Shivago. Dr. Tanya, Tanya, where are you, Tanya? 
I've I'm never seen Sharif. Doctor Zhivago. I, again, I had to watch it in school. Really? Wow. Social like, studies. Was that a movie like three hours and fifty minutes? It's like we had really eighty minute. Long. We had eight minute blocks. It was wow. that's basically you know that's, that's a weird movie to show in school. See, here's the, the thing story about it: the Russian Rebellion, Russian Revolution, Russian Revolution, whatever. Close. I'm enough. just fucking with you. It's <laughs> they're interchangeable, but. I've always been really curious about the Russian Revolution. I don't really know no. much about it. That is what amounts to my history teacher's teachings. Oh, my dad took a date to see that movie. Uh, well, it's a good it movie. It's a good movie to take a date to, man. It's, it's like a long a, movie. Although it is kind of a tragic Russian. love story. Yeah, it's sad. You've never seen it? No, I've never seen it. I mean, it's, you know, one of those long epics. If yeah, you can get I, an I gotta afternoon get it off. It's it. worth it's, a shot. It's on the list. It's but, uh, sappy, though. It is a... Yeah, that's the time. This is Obi-Wan Kenobi is in it. Uh, Alex Guinness? No. Yes, sir. Uh, and Omar Sharif, I believe, is... Uh, he Dr. is the Shivago? titular. Dr. The Shivago. titular Dr. Shivago. Yeah, Omar Sharif, he's a great actor. What else has he been in? Wasn't he in Lawrence of Arabia? I have never seen it. He Either played I. opposite uh, <laughs> that's, Peter O'Toole. That's another classic I just have Long not, epic. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's well, it's not on Netflix, it's not at the library, it's not on Hulu. Yeah, Where am I going to see that's it? That's what man? i got to see in HD, you know, just on the biggest screen possible. I'd yeah. love it if they, you know, reshow that here. Yeah, that'd be do they, fun. like, do they reshow a lot of movies? They do these Fathom events, you know. How they, often? Well, like I said, just a couple of days ago, they were showing the Philadelphia story. They were doing the Dark Crystal now, and... We're They're totally, doing, uh, totally going to get a Dark Crystal episode. I don't uh, know yeah, about I, you guys, but... I definitely want to see Dark Crystal, for sure. I love the atmosphere. I haven't seen it in so fucking long, I can't remember how to I got the Blu-ray. Yeah. I got the Blu-ray, and you want to watch it in the theater? <laughs> well, it's the big screen, man. Like, movies True, are meant yeah. to be... Especially, like, movies I like, they're meant to be seen on the big screen. I still want to see... You know my ultimate see on the big screen movie? Take a guess. Ultimate see on the big screen... <laughs> What sort of visually stunning epic would somebody want to see on the big screen? Oh, man. A visually stunning epic, possibly directed by Kubrick? Maybe. <laughs> Could be. Could it be? Maybe Maybe we've talked about this movie before. Yep, you're right Barry on Lynn. track. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say as the joke. Oh, my God. We'll be coming one, The folks. hive mind. We'll be coming one. Uh, yeah, no, 2001 would be great. And uh, at an hour 47, I'd walk out it's of the still... theater. <laughs> It still looks, honestly, it looks really good on Blu-ray, but... Yeah. Oh, I, I I've see loved it on the big the, fucking screen. The Blu-ray, yeah. Maybe the Palace Theater might show it. You know, East I've Moon? always, like, yeah, I've always had a dream that, um... I don't know, I could own a theater and just, like, play whatever movies I want. Yeah. I want to see Spy Go out came of business in. pretty quick. Yeah. But it'd be, I could watch yeah. movies that I want. Yeah, Tarantino's got the, the new Beverly Sim where he does that. Yeah, but he probably plays a lot of shit, like B-movies from the yeah. 70s and 60s. No, that's, a lot of, that's why a lot of people go, see a lot of that stuff that they've never seen before. I, I mean, know he did a Carpenter yeah. like a month. I'd love to see the thing. Yeah. Oh, man, that'd be fucking why amazing. Why don't you like They Live? Oh, wow, we're getting right into it, huh? You'd, earlier, it earlier, it came to my attention, it's, he doesn't like the li They it's, Live. It's not that I don't like They Live, yeah. it's that it doesn't work for me. Okay. You know, so it's like this movie, uh, The Game Night, for me, in a way. Yeah, I'm, but I didn't laugh like once and They Live. Well, They Live wasn't a goddamn comedy, oh, man. I don't know, man. It's it's definitely trying to... That, that fight scene between him and... Uh, hey, that fight scene? Yeah, you thought it was ridiculous. supposed to be funny? It's like a fucking slapstick comedy right. at that point. The aliens, dude, with the masks... Like I really enjoyed. I really like They Live. I it's really not a bad the movie, ideas. but it's. I mean, listen. The fight was one of my friends. favorite parts. Do you know why? It's Keith Car. No, not Keith. Keith Carrot. David. Keith David. Love Keith, Keith David, David and uh, Rowdy Roddy actor. Piper. I couldn't tell you his yeah. real name right now. Um, the fight was so because it was like they were basically homeless people fighting over meat. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it's, there's some they're good there was friends barbaric too, yeah. to it, man. Like there was something yeah. dirty and gritty. I don't know. The fight scene I thought and was And it really lasted awkward. forever. Yeah, it's like one of the longest fight scenes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know. It's it's a mythic movie. It's a cult I just, movie. It's one of the, there's sometimes movies you know. where like they're going for something and the idea of it. It's a great That concept. really works for me. Like and it's that a smart movie really movie. works because it, it's like, it's all about how commercialism, man. How right. it's Obey. basically about. Yeah. How corporations treat you. We are cattle. What the ads really mean. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, listen, it's smart. It's satirical. Um, I it's was, it's I well wish, made. I I'm wish not Game saying that I had more not. satire. 
Yeah, I mean, there was, a, like, one Trump uh, <laughs> There was mo- There was at least a couple of Trump in. things. I mean, yeah, it, it's, it's low-hanging I'm fruit. just getting tired of it, you know? Like, yeah, you hear it all the time, man. That's why I don't watch the late-night comedy. It's just fucking hackney bullshit. Yeah. You know, like, they live, it's fine. It's just... I'd it's like, okay. You know, I'd like some... Cl- I mean... I mean, listen, it, yeah. not, not every cult movie is going to work for everybody. Yeah. It's just... I just want to get a little clarification. I'm not trying right. to crucify <laughs> you here. I... <laughs> Willem Dafoe. <laughs> Willem Dafoe. The Last Temptation of Christ, Not easily the best religious movie for me, really? in my opinion. Mm. It, it, it tells you exactly you the passion? what religion is about. I've never seen The Passion. Oh, well, how can you say it's the best religious movie ever made? <sighs> yeah, you get a point. I yeah. just, I don't want to see The Passion because I feel like, I respect Mel Gibson as a director. Like everyone says, mm-hmm. as soon as after they say that, I fucking apocalyptos fucking dope. Oh, I fucking love Apocalypto. It was Braveheart's dope. great too. No, I love Brave. I like Braveheart. Yeah, I never. I haven't seen The Man Without a Face. Me I neither. That was his first feature. What but about he uh, did get Hacksaw the Ridge? Though. Hacksaw Ridge. Um, uh, I enjoyed it. Um, there's a lot of CG gore, which mm-hmm. upset me. There's some good performances, cinematography. How did we like. get to Hacksaw Ridge? What Mel, Mel Gibson, Gibson movie were we talking about? Uh, we were talking about. Braveheart, Apocalypto, um, nah, something else. Passion of the Christ. <laughs> Passion of the Christ. Did you see it? I saw it in the theater with my dad. Was it a good movie? Um, it's, uh, I mean, it's an accurate representation of how people were crucified. That's, see, that's, <laughs> that's, that's what I'm worried about. Like, the Passion of the it's Christ. It's brutal. It's fucking brutal. The thing huh? about Last Temptation of Christ is, for me, is it's like... Well, the Last Temptation of Christ is just fucking completely out there. Yeah. Paul Schrader. I love Paul Schrader. Great screenwriter. Yeah. But uh, it is... It's based on a novel. Yeah, it's... um, Man, it is a wild movie. Yeah. And really controversial for the time. I don't see why it's controversial. Oh, the, it end, just, the ending scene. Uh, the, I love the ending scene. Yeah. You know why? I hate it. It's fucking reviled. Because it's like, it's giving this idea Christ was born a man. Like, he could have just been a man and said right. fuck well, I mean, all this saying that he fucked you know a whore mary magdalene that's implying that they were well, together it didn't it implied it but the whole thing is like uh, maybe a little more implied towards yeah I mean, it's pretty much like hey they fucked you know oh no 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 the end was just like a f- the him it's like going through like to the, the haze demon. and yeah and that's him the off the cross and, yeah doing it's, a fantasy thing that didn't that is wasn't real well it was real but it was there's a lot of existential kind of things. Yeah. In See, that's why I like it. It really, you really got to think about it's it. It's just not the type of film I want to watch. Yeah. You know, it's it's a really experimental film for Scorsese. Well, I like it because it, okay. when I'm thinking about religion, that's what I think about. Like that's yeah, what religion I, should be about. I, like, um, I just have no treat. Interest. Like nobody, no Christians really think this way. Like Christ wanted you to treat everybody like they were your brother, like they were your sister. Be kind to those who needed it the most. That's it. Right. That's really all. Yeah. That's all it's about. And that's what that movie was about for me. That's really all yeah. I wanted. Also, they really played up the fact that he was, um, he was a man, and he was like he kept getting these weird signs, like seeing these things, hearing these things. Like, yeah. how do you think? They always play it like he knows what's going on. Like, how do you think a normal man would react to like seeing visions of God and stuff? Yeah, it'd be pretty. It'd be pretty traumatizing to your psyche. Yeah, especially back then, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's um, it's definitely one of Scorsese's out there films. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, he had a great run with uh, Schrader. You know, they made quite a few films. What together. other What other films? Oh, Taxi Driver. You know, that's a fucking amazing. Script. I usually don't know about screenwriters. Yeah, I love except Paul for Schrader. like well, Paul Schrader's director too. You know, yeah. He's directed a lot of movies. Um, he wrote uh, Raging Bull. And the last movie they did together was uh, a really crazy Nicolas Cage movie called Bringing Out the Dead, where he plays an ambulance, ambulance driver. I never uh, saw it. Was he I, like a drug addict or something? Um, no, I haven't seen it in quite a few years. I remember getting it. was it like late 90s, Buster. early 2000s, right? Yeah, Patricia Arquette's in it. She plays his wife. And uh, it's just a really bizarre movie. I remember really liking it i i really would like to revisit it i didn't know scorsese did it yeah he did or schrader i didn't know who schrader was <laughs> before now but i like to i really like taxi driver yeah he's uh he's wrote some some really good scripts he's uh, he's actually got a new movie coming out that looks kind of good with ethan hawk 
Seath and Hawk. He, um, I love Ethan Hawk. He's big either hit or miss. Yeah. Gattaca. Anytime anyone says Ethan Hawk is good, let me watch it. Have Sinister. you watched uh, the Before trilogy with the Linklater films? Nah, I'm not a big fan of Linklater. Really? Days and Confused doesn't work for you? I like Days Confused. Great it's fucking okay. hangout movie. Yeah, see, it's that's kind of the thing. It's kind of movie for that. Yeah, there's it's, no plot. It's just kind yeah. of a flowing film. See, the, which I like. That. I, I like now that you're like telling that. me that there's a concept behind it, that you're just supposed to hang out and watch it. Yeah. I mean, it makes it makes it a little bit better for me, I guess. It just it's all right. It's good. I've seen it too many times. Yeah, well, like I say, it's that kind of movie. It's supposed to be rewatched. Um, but yeah, I, I haven't rewatched it in a while because I, I get nervous about that scene in certain movies too many times. Yeah, because. Who's the effect? Yeah, and you just, you get tired of it. I don't want to get tired of a movie I like. Yeah. Well, um, again, we'll give our game night. We'll go over game night once more, and then <laughs> we'll do our little game that I make up on the spot. Oh, boy. We, um, I, it's okay, it was good. Wow. If, um. You're really down on it. <laughs> if you're looking to see a new movie, I guess see this. Yeah. He saw Black Panther. It was just another Marvel yeah. movie. Well, I would recommend to this way more than Black Panther, but I don't want to see Black Panther because it's become a political yeah. movement. It's like, not do you know even why? Really that political the movie. Well, just people are getting be- black people and black activists are getting behind it. Yeah. Of Meanwhile, it's an a agenda. fucking Disney executives who are probably yeah. like eight or nine white of eighty or ninety percent of white sitting back laughing like right. fuck yeah this didn't work for ghostbusters it's gonna work for us <laughs> well that's the thing is like if this didn't make money and was a total bomb they wouldn't make a sequel <laughs> yeah. you know so um yeah it's it's made a bunch of money and obviously it's similar with wonder woman it's uh, there's there is a social justice kind of uh, agenda behind it um the movie's got some okay stuff in it wonder woman had some okay stuff in it but... okay <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I keep, I do that to a lot of people. It's just when I hear something that's like out of the ordinary or strange, I have to repeat it. <laughs> but uh, you know, a lot of those modern blockbusters are make- mediocre, and I, I think this is a lot better than that. Yeah. Game night. Yeah. It's, it's fun. I think you know, take a lot of people. Yeah, it's to a the good theater. fun movie. It's a movie you definitely want to see with a lot of people. It's a good, you know, it's a good fun movie. It's just, it, that's, you know, I hate to use such a generic term, but it's fun. Yeah, it's, I mean, if it, that's what it defines it to you. That's what it defines yeah. it to you, my man. Webster, how about you uh, give me the scoop on this? Define your top library picks for this week. <laughs> top library top picks. movies top to movies. find at your local library this week. We'll pick two or three, whatever we can think of that on the spot. The library, huh? They don't have to be at the library. I just said that because, you know, I'm connecting the dots. I said we were talking about libraries earlier. It's Come on, man. I'm setting something up here. Try to fuck me in the ass, man? Come on. At least loop up a little bit. Top movies to recommend. Just whatever you feel like watching. Well, something you just saw you want to recommend. Something you feel like well, watching. The first thing whatever. that's popped into my head. Tango and Cash. <laughs> I've never seen it. Oh, man. The original or the sequel? Oh, there's no sequel. <laughs> or the remake. <laughs> there's no remake. So it's just... <laughs> just okay. Tango and Cash. I thought it might be um, like... um. Yeah, you... Kurt Russell. It's Kurt Russell Stallone movie. Kurt Russell Stallone. Um, Jack Palance is the villain. Jack in, Palance? Yeah, Jack Palance. He was the villain in Young Guns. He's yeah, old, okay. He's yeah, an old guy. He's, he's an old guy. Um, Just straight up... Not you know, unabashed rip off of Lethal Weapon. Okay, and, uh, I could see it. Aren't just... they supposed to be assassins or are they cops? No, no, they're cops. Yeah. I'm thinking of another Stallone. Hey, yeah, you're trying to question my Tango and Cash knowledge, is motherfucker? Is there another movie where Stallone <laughs> is like an assassin or something? Yeah, assassins. <laughs> Eek. And he did the Get Carter remake, which fucking sucks. That's what I was thinking of. Get but Carter. um, yeah, super fun movie, ridiculous, late '80s. Um. You know, there. Well, the thing is, is that you know, when you look at the studio system of ripping off, you know, great concepts. Yeah. It really worked out for Die Hard ripoffs and for Lethal <laughs> Weapon ripoffs. The Lethal Weapon ripoffs and Die Hard ripoffs are fucking great movies. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Tango and Cash, fucking fun, just absolute blast of ridiculousness. I'm, I'm guessing not to expect a lot, um, logically, <laughs> no. from his tone. 
<laughs> you didn't. You didn't have to come on and tell us. I was trying to be subtle for those who didn't pick it up. You know. Yeah, sure. subtlety is all about tango. <laughs> of course, of course. That must have been like one of the last movies Kurt Russell did Not before his hiatus. I mean. Oh no 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 no! That was eighty eight. Shit, Tango Cash was 88? Yeah. I thought it was like midnight. I'm oh, mixing no, up with Get Carter or something. He didn't have his uh, hiatus. Uh, Death Proof was his last movie. Yeah. He went on hiatus for quite a few years. Mine, since we're talking about... That's I was going to go... Pick. I was going to go... Yeah, we'll, we'll alternate. <laughs> oh, so you, 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 you motherfucker. You motherfucker. Can't even wait. Can't even hold his fucking horses. My first pick, I was going to go Get Carter or The Italian Job, the original. But just to fuck with you guys, I'm going to go with another Michael Caine 60s film. Play Dirty. It's about a British, you know, British mm. army outpost in uh, northern Africa. Yeah, and uh, they get a, you know, deadly mission. I saw it like on the military channel. Military channel, free plug. Also, play less commercials and cut Lou Diamond <laughs> Phillips from your... Uh, Lou Diamond Phillips. They would have him like talk to military veterans. Really? That's weird. Like, this scene really is indicative. I really like the graininess of uh, the camera. It really, it, it plays oh, up so the, uh, it plays up the sandy arena that they find themselves in. But you gotta get a paycheck. Well, you, know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. Because I know he's on a Netflix show. Uh, Longmire. I never saw it. Yeah, well, he used to be on uh, A&E. Yeah, he's and not the star. Him. He's, uh, he's either a friend guy. or sidekick. Yeah, he's like on some Indian reservation. Play dirty. I mean, it's it's a nice little war movie. A lot of the war movies I've seen, especially one with Clint Eastwood and like Donald Sutherland, where Donald Sutherland was insane. I can't remember the name. Any otherwise, play dirty. It's a nice little movie. Is it like a Men on a Mission movie? Yeah. Oh yeah. I there was a bunch. Telly Savalas was in it. Telly a whole Savalas. bunch of random actors and stuff. Oh, there's a lot of those. In Telly Savalas Kelly also in Dirty well. Dozen. Dirty Dozen was good. How about your uh, second pick, library my pick? Last, my last pick, I had it in my head. I'm going to go with a newer movie. came out last year. We were, You were talking about Lou Diamond Phillips, which made me think of uh, Thunderheart. Bomba. Thunderheart with Al Kilmer. Who's I've never Indian seen Lizard. it. Yeah, that was not it was good. It was bad. That's not the movie I'm talking about. We were talking about the Indian Reservation. So um, I'm going to bring up uh, Wind River. It's uh, it came out last year. It's with Jeremy Renner and Elizabeth Olsen. Uh, it's about a murder that takes place uh, on a reservation, and um, Taylor Sheridan directed it. He wrote the script for Hell or High Water and Sicario. Really good fucking writer. And uh, tell us his direction. It was fantastic. I mean, it's really good. He he's a, he's an actor's director, but yeah. there are some set pieces in the movie that are really fucking great and uh i was i really high re high recommendation i thought it's probably my second favorite movie from last year i didn't except for maybe you telling me one other time someplace else i yeah it's it fucking means great. nothing to me the name terrible blu-ray cover yeah still watch it <laughs> if i saw it i would have thought it was like a oh, straight yeah. to dvd movie yeah, probably the, the blu-ray cover is awful it's shameful but it was uh, under the Weinstein <laughs> Company, mm. and Taylor Sheridan bought the rights back to the movie, so he they, couldn't he yeah, couldn't they, spring for a good yeah, cover. Yeah, I guess he couldn't spring for the good budget. Cover. Uh, sprung a little low. Yeah, sadly. Um, yeah. So that's that's my second pick, my my last pick, the good old Tango and Cash and Wind River. <laughs> nice double feature. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. Definitely uh, differing tones. Yes, yeah, so we're going likely. for a very serious. Great crime film and then a very not serious crime film. <laughs> I would, uh, I'm going to bring up at least one. Spy Who Came In From The Cold, just because okay. I always have to recommend it at any opportunity. <laughs> you did a video on it, you fucker. <laughs> well, a segment. I did a segment. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's, um, oh, atmosphere right. great, incredibly tense. Love the, uh, real-to-life spy thing. That was quick, so I'll leave it out. Fletch, <laughs> this movie Fletch. had some very Fletch-like jokes. Like somebody would ask somebody, Game Night had these kind of jokes. Yeah. Somebody would ask somebody, what's your name? Don Vito Corleone. Nobody says that, but you know, it's something like right, that. Yeah. Who do you work for? I'm the CEO of Cyberdyne. Uh, Industries. <laughs> Industries. Somebody grab this fucking guy. 
Yeah. <laughs> that was a nice little joke. I'm sorry. It worked. It worked yeah. well. Yeah. Fletch. It's just you know. It's a nice. Nah, if you, it's perfect it. movie if you're hungover because like. What about the sequel? Fletch. I've never seen it. Never seen. He the goes to Louisiana. I've started it on TV. Yeah. Never finished it. I. Uh... Something tells me if I rewatched them, I'd fucking hate them. Mm. Like a lot of those '80s comedies, just don't. Hold they, up. they're not like laugh, laugh every second. You know, yeah, like, grabbing your knee. It's more subtle. You know, yeah, it's like, like just joke, setup, joke, punchline. You know. Yeah, like Caddyshack. I fucking hate that movie. I, I'm baffled that people think that movie's funny. Yeah. I don't. Never I was watching it. the Even Pink was Panther, one of the Pink Panther sequels yesterday. I was laughing the, the whole time. Or Steve Martin, <laughs> shitty one. No, one of the ori- the original. Oh, okay. Fucking Peter Sellers, man. You kidding right. me? Yeah. I've never even seen the new ones. Not that I'm saying if you've seen them, you're a bad <laughs> person. I'm better because I haven't seen them. I'm just saying I haven't seen them. Hey, Steve Martin's good. So that's that's my last recommendation: the Return of the Pink Panther, the one where um. Oh, I thought you were a spy from Came of the Cold. <laughs> well, that was my second. It was quick. Then Fletch, well, another want, quick third. If you third. want a good Richard Burton movie, yeah, <laughs> we'll get your third. Where Eagles now. Dare? Never even seen it. Where Eagles Dare? Clint Eastwood, Richard Burton. It's a Men on a Mission movie. Um, Do you want to see a bad Richard Burton movie? <laughs> oh God! The Exorcist Two. The Exorcist Two. The Heretic. The Heretic. Huh? Yeah, I never saw. It. I did actually see The Exorcist Three recently. Is it any good? It's supposed to be actually Everyone good. Everyone tells me it's like one of the greatest psychological thrillers of all yeah, time. Like it. And I was like, what? This fucking sucks. Nah. Um, didn't work for me at all. I still haven't even seen the first fucking Exorcist. It's good. I've seen the prequel. It's very subtle. I've seen both versions of the prequel. I've, I have too. <laughs> they put the uh, bad one on Paul Netflix. Well, Schrader directed one of them. The bad one? Yeah, because the other one Probably. was just some German guy or yeah. Norwegian guy. I remember really liking one of them. The, the, second, the cuts are really drastic. The theatrical, totally different. The theatrical was super dark. Yeah. The original yeah. release was super Stone lame. It was super. At the end, like there's a little boy who gets possessed, a little Indian boy, and he's like floating. Yeah, in, in the, Indian uh, the pose. Hut. Yeah. Nah. I think both films had some version of that. Yeah. Maybe one had at the beginning. They were in a hut. I can't remember, but yeah, it definitely it was, wasn't as cheesy in the yikes. darker one for yeah. sure. I had another movie, but I forgot. Um, no matter. You got nobody's listening, anyways. Nobody cares. I think I'm gonna go kill myself or something. Me and Jasper Lamar Crab. The next time you're gonna see us, they're gonna be dragging this recording from off of a fucking bottom of a cliff. Be the last will and testament. Please listen and subscribe if you want us to survive. <laughs>